in live local coverage. This is News 10 at 6. Accepting money for political purposes and using it for personal gain. Those are the allegations from Michigan's Attorney General against former senior staffers in Michigan's House of Representatives. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. The former staffers, Ann and Robert Menard, were arraigned this morning on a total of 13 felony counts. The charges range from embezzlement to conducting a criminal enterprise. Michigan's Attorney General says the funds misappropriated totaled at least $500,000. News 10's Aaron Bowling spoke with a criminal law expert today about what this could mean for the bigger picture in state politics, Aaron. Yeah, and the law professor I spoke with today says this is an issue across the country. He says most campaigns today are funded through large tax-free political action committees, also known as PACs. Robert and Ann Menard are accused of embezzling through several free through tax-free political nonprofits. The Menards were former senior staffers for former Michigan House Speaker Lee Chatfield. The problem right now that I perceive is that the reason why it took so long to find these particular reports or to go through them is because of staffing. Law professor Jeffrey Schwartz believes Robert and Ann Menard's accused crimes are more common in politics than we might think. Going as far as to call their cases typical, he says in some cases, people will take advantage of the lack of monitoring in political funds. There may not be enough people to go through them line item by line item or to verify. So yeah, I'm sure there's more of it. I'm positive there's more of it. Law enforcement says the case against the Menards first began while investigating similar allegations towards former speaker of Michigan's house, Lee Chatfield. As senior staffers to Chatfield, Law enforcement says it became clear that the Menards were, quote, intimately involved. Accused of committing the crimes from 2018 to 2020, Robert and Ann Menard pled not guilty Wednesday morning. Ms. Menard has no prior criminal record. Uh, I have had prior contacts with the Attorney General's office when they have called. I have answered the phone, so certainly we're engaged with them and have every intent of defending this case. Robert Menard's lawyer echoed similar sentiments maintaining innocence and saying Robert has been a law-abiding citizen his whole life. As the Menard cases move forward, Swartz says this teaches a bigger lesson. You have to be careful who you're giving money to. You have to be careful of the packs that you contribute to. And you have to read the fine print that tells you where this money is going to be spent. Their next court date is tentatively scheduled for January 19th at 8.30 a.m., although the judge ruled that this date could be rescheduled due to the amount of evidence in the case. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Bowling, News 10. Turning now to our Wednesday weather as we look live from our Skycam over US 127 in East Lansing.